Sun, surf, sex, murder and mayhem. This is the making of Maui Homicide 2000. The story begins on the island of Maui, in the Hawaiian Islands in the South Pacific, where sun rules and bad things happen. Where silly becomes grand. Where pooty becomes sand. Action. Damn shame. We will be chronicling the filming and the extracurricular activities of the fun loving criminals while making Maui Homicide 2000. We got everything here. Hair on. It's all here. Boss, where are we going to find this double number? You gotta go Thousand Death Beach. Yeah? I know where that is. Thousand Death Beach. Why? Who's over there? Surf, sun, sex and mayhem. All on one small island. With animals roaming free. And people who just don't know how to fucking drive. This is the making of Maui Homicide 2000. Bad guy. Don't ask why. Let's kill the bad guy. The bad guy must die. Maui, beautiful Maui, with luscious landscapes and wild foliage. Animals of all different kinds roam free without fear of man. But be careful, you might get your ass drowned. I'm sitting here with Huey. Hello. How did you get involved in this project? Just the whole human uh, condition. Kevin Spacey called to say thanks. Hey, anything I can do for a friend. Huey was wrongly accused of stealing the Oscars in the year 2000. All charges were dropped. All right, take a look. Take a look. Watch out. All right. You look in the pool, I'm going to look in the house. This sequence could only be shot once a day because of the clothes dryer. Maxwell Jason, who plays Captain Ho, has trouble with the parking brake. Make a left, Maggie. Oh, no. The filming took two weeks, only during daylight hours. Rastafari religion. No, I'm serious. Captain, who is he? Can you believe it? No. Son of a bitch. I've heard of this guy too. And look, I mean, the, the chemistry was undoubtable between the trio, who brought together this film with no script. I think I'll only lead. <laughs> I'm sitting here with the brothers Double Milk. How are you, gentlemen? My name is Double Milk. All right, bro. Did you perform your own stunts? I do all my own stunt work, actually. Uh, the reason I do all my own stunt work is I feel it's very important to do your own stunt work. We do all our own stunts, bro. Did you fucking, I mean, did you guys even watch the movie, man? Ready? Yeah. In this sequence, Mateo falls into the pool and loses his wig. This is wobbly as fuck, bro. You got Be careful, Honcho. You don't even have to move. Don't grow in Brooklyn. This is a sequence that took many weeks to film. 
It is the jet boat chase, and Matteo is actually driving the jet boat. If you can notice John Denny, stunt coordinator, coming out from behind the dock to ensure proper visibility. Stunt coordinator. John Denny. Here they take a five minute break and think about the stunt work ahead. And double milk. Here are the stunt coordinators team up to go through the surfing sequence. Special attention was paid to the stunt double, Campbell, who looks like fast. Well, a little. Whoa. Whoa. And the director has trouble filming because he's a dumbass. Normally we all sit back and have some beers. It's the American way. Here's a sequence shot with the stunt double playing fast, topples over, and falls in the water. Everything's all right and we're ready for another take. Some people took their characters a little too seriously. Oh, there's fast catching a high one. If that wave was any bigger, it might... Oh, well it did. There are the boys. Very rat pack, don't you think? This is young Maxie getting a wave. There's Mackie again, surfing the high, high seas. Whoa. Ouch. Damn, Mackie, look out next time, buddy. No thanks. I'm driving. Look at Johnny Cocaine over here. So happy, so relaxed. New Yorkers litter bugs. Stunt coordinator, you've been in film many, many years. You've w taken over, stunt coordinator. You took it over from me. You know why? Because I'm talent, talent coordinator. Brett Nickel is stunt coordinator. Sl oh, yeah. look at Mackie, Mackie, Mackie! Look at him deep. Go, Mackie, go, baby! Oh, he's trimming the wall. <laughs> he's the freaking man. <laughs> and action. In this shot, you'll see two different views of the underwater sequence, shot by Mike Waltz, courtesy of My Balls Productions. And action. Breathtaking, isn't it? Your fast relaxes between takes. The days are long and the nights are short, but Maui has a lot to offer someone. It was fun to actually play a cop that was a little, you know, under the influence. But uh, as far as physically, yeah, because I mean, I kept getting punched in the face a lot. Here's why people punch fast in the face. What's up, Captain? No, it's all right, Captain. Calm down, Captain. Take it easy, take it easy. We got two unsolved murders. It's all right, take it easy, guys. Slow down. Oh, 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 oh. Whatever you don't clock. Oh, he clock. Oh, Captain. Yo, he's clocking him. You don't know. He's all right, All right, here, cheers, cheers. cheers. Mackie really enjoys being on the high seas, fishing with his boys. Some fucking fish catching motherfuckers out here, boy. Well, Earl, make you feel better, bro. Mac, just man, feel awesome. <laughs> this is actual footage of a fish being caught on the boat. This is an Ono, indigenous to the Hawaiian Islands. We treated it like we treat any foreign object in New York City. With one good crack, it's all over, and dinner served. Shooting commenced the next day. Well, late in the next day. 
and we all decided to go to the beach to look at some of the new bottles. There's some bitches right there. The polo match sequence is one of the most funny and enjoyable. Smiles all around. Hey, hey to polo. That's Biggie. We don't know whose he is. Hey, uh, There were rumors in the set that uh, you and some of the other principals didn't get along so well. Uh, could you explain? Maybe? Well, you know, to be frank, it's not really my fucking job to be friends with everybody. You know, uh, I consider this a uh, a, uh, a, uh, a a trade. It's my craft, you know, and some people think they can uh, fuck their way through. Uh... Do you want cheese on the quarter pounders? Uh, yeah. Supersize it? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll do it with dialogue potatoes. Yo! <laughs> you got to find some answers too, you know. Figure that, John? No, I didn't. I'm fucking shooting a scene. Would you mind elaborating on the controversy? I really feel that, you know, like I said, my brother was taking all the credit for everything I was doing, man, and that really controversied my ass. I, I didn't like that, bro. You know, I really feel I have been typecast in a lot of my movies as a scumbag, and I think the reason for that is because I'm a scumbag. Yeah, all right, I got it. And now you notice them. You looking for these scumbags? You mother rabbits. The locations Shut up, were vast. This location is the house where Double Milk lived with the late dead girl in the pool. You looking for this shithead? Yeah, I'm looking for my shit, you cop son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Go down, you know that. Fucking shit. You know, you know exactly what I know, and I know that you know what you know, and we all know this shit. We're in this fucking golf cart together here. Put it inside for the moment. You ever play golf before, partner? Nah, but I watch it on the TV. I love the Tiger Woods. He's not bad. He's good. He's a good golfer. Really, he is. It's a beautiful day to kill somebody. Oh. Action! For film enthusiasts, we've compiled these different scenes that come together to the final scene of Maui Homicide 2000, a chapter called The Boat Chase. Hey, you that scumbag they call Double Milk? What's it to you, bro? Hey, are you that scumbag they call the double milks? Hey, don't talk back to me, you piece of shit. This is the final scene as it appears in Maui Homicide 2000. Scumbag they call the double milks. What's it to you, brother? Hey, don't talk back to me, you piece of shit. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One second, bro. One second, bro. Special effects created by ILM were not used in the film. It's truly an honor to have here in our presence the legendary film producer, music producer, and just general producer, Irving Getzoff. Irving. You produced some of the top yeah, ten yeah, best yeah. Uh, 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 films. How about this? You stop albums. sucking my dick and ask me some pertinent questions, okay, kid? Come on. The Motion Picture Association of America has said that this film will never, ever, ever be shown to anybody. Yeah, well, you know, they did the same thing with the Manchurian Candidate. Listen, Francis believed in the picture. That's why the picture got off the ground, all right? Now, I did this picture because I believed in it, and I believe in these kids. And I think anybody out there who listens to this thing will understand that these kids made some good fucking cinema, okay? Don't make me out to be the fucking maniac here, kid, okay? 
There was a lot of cocaine use in this. Yeah, film. there's a lot of cocaine use in the whole world. I'm predicting. I'm predicting. What am I doing? I'm portraying the world as it is. Okay. The motion picture. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I've been doing it for 25 years. Since you were sucking on your mom. I was doing this, okay? Yes, but I've been in the business for 70 years. 70 years too long. All right, come on. What, what do you got for me? Come on. The, uh, would you do me a favor and just keep your mouth shut for me? Nobody wants to hear what you got to say. Is it true it, about your small cameo in the film? It's, it, I never played nothing in no film, nowhere, no how. I don't know what you people have seen. I mean, I did some old things, you know, back in the day. <laughs> That's just fascinating. Uh, Where do you draw your inspiration for these roles? Well, I think one of the greatest things about human beings is that we do have this inner light. And I think my job as an actor is to find that inner light and really, I don't know, como se va? I've got flowers in here from Mariah Carey. Do you want me to send these back too? Yeah, send those back. I'm now speaking with someone who is very close to Irving Getzoff. That would be his driver and security master, Rocco. Good to have you here, Rocco. Thank you for coming by. What did you see? What can you tell us? There were bitches, there were drugs, animals, prostitutions, uh, alcoholic beverages. It was disgusting. I was just disgusted by the whole thing. You know, just tell us about your hair. Well, what happened, you know, I mean, the afro, it was a lot of work to maintain the afro, so I, you know, plus I'm doing this new film about Sasquatching in Brooklyn. And Swashbuckling. Yeah, that's it, Swashbuckling. I don't fucking know, my agent knows. How you guys doing, bro? Yeah, here we are on a fucking set, take a little break right now, just uh, getting my shit together, I'm trying to get in character, and uh, I got a couple minutes I can talk to you just about it. What do you want to know? Swashbuckling in Brooklyn. I, Mike Lee's around somewhere. He's over there. We got one Story. of our teams to break right now. You and Story your boy. of a guy who works in a seafood restaurant who becomes a superhero and uh, travels around on a boat protecting the five boroughs of New York City. What's it like filming on a real pirate ship? It's a lot of fucking fun, you know? I have fun no matter what I'm doing. I'm having fun. I'm drinking beers. I'm smoking joints. I'm having a fucking good time over here. This fucking boat, let me tell you something. You take this boat out in the high seas, this thing is 25, 30 knots. Bob, boom it's got balls. Uh, how come there are no guns and people only use swords in this movie? Well, because we're bringing it back to the old school days, man. The old school, we're just, you know, we're kicking it. Oh, oh, ain't want no gun. It was a, like a gun, but it took a long time to get that motherfucker out. Is this a friend of yours? Yeah, man, we keep a lot of dogs on the set, man. I love, I love animals. I love them. The Odyssey that is Swashbuckling Brooklyn, we brought to your home theater from Defontaine straight to video films this summer. I'm going to tell you, it could be big. It could be big. Hello, Kevin. Yeah, no, Waterwolf 2, I don't think so. Okay, I'm doing something like it. Come on, kid. You snooze, you lose, kid. We're not fucking playing games here. Hello. Good to talk to you, too. Hey, yeah, he's right here. Hold on a sec. Chao, ahí es hoy. Tú, está la gente ahí. Está bien. ¿Se va? Muy bien. Mm. Le gustó un chivalito ahí, güey. ¿Cómo se Pronto. Ah, bellísima. Bebe Sara. Ah, mezo noche. Gracias. Prego, prego. Adiós. Man, yeah, what? Yo, yeah, try it. Como usted con el sueño y beso mes noche. Vendo un truco de vestrado. Deseo. The audio for Maui Homicide was recorded entirely on the island of Maui. That's the way you gotta do it. We went to Hyperbolic Sound, owned by Walter Becker of Steely Dan, and fucked around. All the ladies in the front row turn around and touch your toes. This is the international sound pimp Tim Latham during final mix of Couldn't Get It Right. Mackie looks happy, doesn't he? God bless you, Mackie. The mixing of Crazy Train took on a small, 
small life of its own. Here, Huey and Tim Latham adjust the knobs just right. Ooh, watch your hand, Huey. Recording take one. The overdubbing was done at Pinewood Studios outside of London. Would have been out here like a week. Okay, play that back. This is an actual overdub session. It's fun. Feels good, right? How you feeling? Would have been out here like a week. Yeah. Feels good, right? How you feeling? Would have been out here like a week. Yeah! <laughs> I like being a detective, I'm trying out. This is how it all fits together. After everything's put together. I say this is pretty cool. You know, we've been out here about a week now. Transfer. Feels good, right? How you feeling? Would have been out here like a week? Yeah! I'll tell you what. You look in the pool for evidence, I'm gonna go in the house. Fuck these fuckers. Is that, bro? The motherfuckers, man. Goddamn greasy surf bastards. We'd like to thank all the people at Real Sound for putting up with the Fun Loving Criminals throughout the audio section of the film. He's the man, bro. And the thing very few people realize about the filming of this movie is that all the beers were actual beers. And every time we had a beer, we drank a beer. Oh, yeah, beer. You can't do a movie without it. It's not funny. Oops. How about that beer, Huey? No, the beer down there. Oops. Beer, Maggie. That's what. Sorry to tell you, but we found a dead girl face down in the pool. We found lots of drugs in not, the house. Not, not a lot of drugs. A little bit of drugs. Not a lot. No. So, boss, where can we find this double milk guy? Huh? Where can we find him? Thousand Deaths Beach. Beach bombs. How do we know it's him? <laughs> the dirty white boy with long blonde hair. <laughs> oh, Mackie, easy. Blue screen was extensively shot, but used very sparingly in Maui Homicide. This is a couple sequences from the tower shooting, as we like to call it. The budget was tight, so there wasn't a lot of room for slow motion, so the actors had to do the slow motion themselves. For instance, this scene. You're cursing at me? You're cursing at me? You're cursing at me? You're not cursing at me anymore. The graphic violence depicted in the film 
was achieved through special effects using air and fake blood. A lot of people found this very startling. Despite its tongue-in-cheek nature, Maui homicide was banned by the Maui Film Festival for excessive violence. I don't remember if I did or not. I did motherfucker, I do that. that was Go ahead, kill me, you cock! So, <laughs> so this is the scumbag who's been running the drugs. Not anymore. <laughs> Nice work, partner. Hey, no problem. You know what I'm saying? He cursed at me. Wish we had a nice cold beer, but maybe something in the fridge. I'll go look. Scumbag. Maui Homicide 2000. The beginning of the end, or the end of the beginning? My lifelong career aspect dream was to really host a, uh, a game show, kind of like Greed. But I want to call it Fuck Off. <coughs> Milk guy, I don't know. And his brother, they were, they were threatening me about getting two times the pay and four times the pay and saying there was nine of them or something. I don't know what was happening, but I just had to get back to Hollywood where people are real. That, 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 that. Come on. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the film. We had a lot of fun making it for you. And God willing, we'll make Swashbuckling in Brooklyn too. When the sun went down, there was no social atmosphere whatsoever. Uh, Stephen and Harrison are calling, but they're on George's cell phone and it's breaking up. All right, I don't have the call. I don't have his number, so we have to call Skywalker and get the number. Okay. Accidents will happen, as seen here, where second camera operator Fast is clubbed by a tiki torch. Oh. Yo, ho, ho. Where's my room? On these pictures, sir, and you're not gonna believe who's in the pictures. You know this guy, sir? What is it, Captain? I can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> what I need to know, Captain, who is it? Why, Carlos? I want to thank you for joining me here. This has been the making of Maui Homicide 2000. I'm Wayne Lazar for Films That Suck. You'll do it for one three? Great. So it seems you're very busy these days, which is good. Always Look, I've been doing this 25 years, kid. I got so much coke in me, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, sure. Send them over. Well, I'm not there now. I'll be there later. All right. Are you a devoted Christian? Absolutely. I've been a Christian since Sammy Davis turned Jew. They have this thing. There's a balance of power, right, in Hollywood. Sammy went to Jews. I had to go to the Catholics. Hey, you know, it's Yankees and Mets. But hey, it's baseball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. Joey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Hey, Joey. <laughs> What's up, boss? You guys were great. You solved the case. I got a new problem for you guys to handle. What's that, What's that sir? Somebody's been snoring up all the evidence. Really? What do you want us to do about that? I want you guys to solve this thing here. 